mightiest warship you'll ever see. Flip the switch and it cruises by itself. Listen to Battle Wagon. Look at Battle Wagon's legal light signal. Full speed ahead. The USS Battle Wagon from early 1960s. This is a deluxe Redding Corporation toy. And this battle wagon has seen some battles, let me tell you. This was given to me by a local collector, toy dealer in Virginia Beach. And he said, you can have it. Do what you want with it. Um, it's missing. Oh my gosh. I have one of these complete, so I know what it's missing. It's missing everything pretty much. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's seen better days. It had... Uh, Two planes that would launch off the back. It had uh, guns with uh, torpedoes that would shoot out. Also had uh, working light up here. I'm sure, uh, there's still a light bulb in there. I'm not sure if that will work, but uh, everything was battery operated. If I turn this thing over, you can see where the battery compartment was. Uh, it's pretty roached out in there. Had wheels that went across the ground when you turned it on. Uh, I'm missing a, missing a gun there. It's missing all the figures. You can see where the figures are broken off. These were the stands for the figures. The figures were probably, uh, I don't know, 172nd scale or, or around that size. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to try to restore this. I'm going to try to repurpose it. I'm going to do something like the Plastic General did. I watched one of his videos, and uh, I've done this before, where you take it apart and kind of scale it up for maybe one thirty second scale or something close to that and uh to give it a repaint job and yeah um probably gonna remove the uh the plane thing on here remove some of these guns they look kind of futuristic they don't even look like world war ii guns so i'm gonna take those off but yeah we're gonna do a, a repurpose job on this thing and have a new project for the next uh week or two oh there you go that just comes right off <laughs> and uh See what we can do out of this. Add some, uh, maybe uh, Mark's figures to it, some Mark's sailors, and uh, get this baby back in action. So follow me along. I'll make a short video of uh, all the changes and taking this thing apart and uh, how we're gonna rebuild it. Okay, so here I am at about the halfway point. Everything has been taken apart. I showed you some pictures of those. All the screws have been removed. Everything has been cleaned and washed. And uh, as of right now, I'm just kind of determining what type of uh, ship this is going to be. I know it was a, a destroyer uh, because of the, uh, the guns on the side. I could always take that off and replace that with plastic. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that route and just have those one guns on the side kept the guns up front took the front gun off but uh, kept the uh, turret area so I'm just gonna fill that in with some plastic everybody everything is uh, removable right now um, as you can see no screws are put in I may glue it all so I don't have any screws at all um, I did have one fracture right there you can tell so I'm gonna have to re-glue that this whole thing comes off I took the wheels the motor everything out of the inside so i'm gonna have to fill that all in with some plastic and uh glue that in and repaint it but um it's coming a coming a long way uh from uh 
just the last two days working on it. And uh, my next thing is to determine what I'm gonna do with this back part here. Now this was the original, kind of sat like that and there was that launcher on there. I like these turrets on back, however, I'm not sure if I can get them cut off and leave, take off this whole structure. So I may leave that off totally, have this more of a cargo type area in back, you know, a transport, have the, uh, have the gun up front, the uh, destroyer type guns on the front and leave the back open as a, uh, a troop carrier or something. Now I did come across these, I bought these years ago. These are uh, three World War II fighter planes. I think it's Timmy Toys, but I think I got it off a of BMC website. And uh, they come in green. And I thought maybe I could do something like this and uh, have them tied down like uh, they're being uh, transported overseas. I also came across this as a Marks reissue uh, crane. You can mount it or put it on the ground. And I've used the mount before. So I'm thinking if I take one of these and either mount it on the front here or on the back area here and use it as a craning, crane system, um, then I can put the planes, you know, like, uh, again, they're being transported overseas or something like that. And I think that would work a lot better than having this big hunk of junk on the back there, not knowing what to do with it. So I'm probably going to go this route. I'm going to cut off all these uh, little extra screw holes. All these things are going to have to be cut off. Fill this in with plastic. Um, but yeah, I think that'll look cool. There's a cargo type ship on the back and still keep the guns on the front. As far as the guns are concerned, I was able to salvage uh, three of the big guns, but it, the turret uh, had five. You can see the holes there. So I'm going to have to uh, buy some plastic that's going to match this create two more guns also i'm gonna have to get some uh goo gone to take all these stickers off including that sticker and the uh sticker on the side cleaning it got a little bit of off but uh i definitely need some uh, goo gone to uh, take the rest of that off so but uh that's about the halfway point right now like i said everything is clean everything is ready to be glued and now it's just uh the planning stages to see uh which route we're gonna go Okay, so here we go, finished product. This is the newly designed battle wagon from 1960s. All painted battleship gray. Haze gray and underway, as they say in the Navy. Uh, I added some uh, 45 millimeter Marks vintage sailors to it. And uh, all in all, I think it turned out pretty good uh, i'm not exactly the way i wanted it but for a weak project and there were so many so many stress fractures in this thing it was hard to rebuild um so i just made the back a uh, loading dock added the crane to it the crane is a reissue marks 
uh, you know, the flags, the stickers. These pennant flags actually do say something. It's, it says uh, T-O-Y-M-E-I-S-T-E-R, which is Toy Meister, the uh, local antique toy dealer that I do a lot of work for. So I thought that'd be a little funny extra thing to throw in there. But um, fix the, uh, the big guns on the front. These still move. Cannons still move. These were just all painted. That's the only difference. Um, this had to be glued on tight. Um, no light in there. No electronics or uh, batteries or anything at all. I filled all the gaps. Actually, no screws in this either, if you can see, other than these two here. Um, I filled in all the holes. I glued it down instead of screwing it back in there. So the crane does move back and forth, up and down, and I strung string in there so you can see that is the cable line but all in all i think it turned out pretty darn good again thanks for watching